Hi doing guys, Punk here, and uh, welcome back to uh, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Now, I had to do a little bit of backtracking because the game doesn't actually have a save feature. It has an auto save feature, but it put me way back there, so I just reset all the events. So, that's the bad part about this game. So, bad astronauts. Bad for not implementing an actual save feature. Other than that. When we left off, we were going to figure out this, we were going to chronologically order this um, crime scene. So, let's chronologically order it. You still look like a dick. You still look kind of scared, sad, before you died. This is last. Can I order it last? Six. This would be five. Six, five. Four. Alright, that would be... Th three. If he got hit in the head. Let's see. It's. I think it's gonna be these three that we're gonna mess up. I'm not sure. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tag this one as three. Tag this one as two. Tag. Or that one might be one. That one might be two. So let's tag this one as one. Tag this one as two. Three, four. All right, let's see if we did it right. Travis, tell me where Ethan is now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. No. So that's one. That must be two. Let's try this again. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Now. No, that's not the second one. So the second one is not that one. But it's not any of these. Wait, is he holding something? Ah, I missed that. So this is the third one. But th there we go. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. I did not notice that rock in this hand. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. So he wants to destroy time. You can't destroy time. it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Honey, I wish there was another way. Travis, tell me where Ethan is, now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants, what all of us want. Look, old man, you need to go home. <gasps> Apparently Ethan untied himself while Travis gets stumbled and the old guy wanted to run them both over? No. Ethan, run goddammit! Go! Get out of here! Travis, close your eyes. Ah, so the old man was protecting Ethan. And Travis seems to be the one who wanted to kill Ethan. Still a really crappy way to die. What was that? 
Where are you going? Well, I guess we're gonna follow you. Wait! Oh no, come back. Where is this taking me? Down there? Uh, we can go back down there. Oh, this game is so cool. I'm still really jittery because of it. Grandpa? Oh, this is Stay Grandpa. Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no! I can't let you do that. All right, Whatever so... had turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Makes sense. So now we can follow the tracks and head, head towards the town or we can go off and... Shut up! I don't know what you are. You sound like a monkey. Alright. So we've got a few decent clues. Like I said, this game is very um, occult-minded, um, supernatural, and I love games like this. So if you like games like this, you're going to have a very good time. I would su- what's that? What? What? Ah, puzzle. So I'm following you, astronaut dude. Where? There you are. Up here? Oh, this is, this is cool. Now where are you taking me and why? back here why am I running around to follow you am I supposed to catch you I don't think I'm gonna be able to nope where'd he go there he is she he Terrestrial containment capsule. What? Uh, excuse me. Oh uh, wow. I I don't even I don't even right now. But this is really cool. Sorry I don't have much commentary for you. Okay. So we got one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm floating. A lot. We got about nine to ten of these things. Maybe more. And we're in space, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. That's really cool. Um, so... Oh. Read. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. Ooh. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out, like the others before it. 
When it did not, the beast rose up on its hind legs and went to the place. Uh, sorry, I yawned. And went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, the other took its place. This one was blue and bright and pure blue. That the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs, and the light vanished. A moment later, the light reappeared again between the two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light. So it chased it deeper into the forest. When the light stopped, it did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles. But the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed, closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Oh. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. I liked, uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Huh. That was neat. So this was a part of Ethan's- oh, look. Gaylord. Says movie science fiction takes Travis's defacement. Okay. Travis doesn't sound like a very nice uh, either sibling or cousin or whatever he is to Ethan. So that was neat. Um, I'm sorry I'm yawning. It's really late. Because mm. I wanted to try this play this game um kind of late, but you know how that goes. Maybe I'll edit some funny sounds in while I yawn. Like ducks quacking, I don't know. Ooh! No. If it goes off, you guys will hear it. That's okay. So, that's from the train tracks. It's 8 o'clock. Oh, I can't go under there. Alright, well, we're gonna... Did I see a light over there? I wonder if we can go off to the left out here anymore. There yeah, we can. We'll travel through the grace. Let's see what's down this way. The game, like I said in the first video, is very, very beautiful. Um, oh look. Uh, and again, I'm really sorry that I'm not really talking that much. Um, no trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. <laughs> oh, this game is so great. It, I mean... I know a lot of people would rather play the game than watch it, but I know some people probably don't have the money to... Can I go in here? No. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, I keep yawning. That's not what I want to do, so I guess... Can I go left or can I go straight? Because that leads into the town. This goes off this way. Follows the tracks. Let's follow the tracks for a little bit and see if we find anything interesting. the part of the town. Red River Valley. I guess this may be the end of the tracks, so there's probably nothing back here that I need. No. Maybe. We'll find out. In games like these, sometimes exploring does have its, um, its uses. But this time, I think... We were just running back here to run back here to see if there was anything back here that, uh, there wasn't anything back here. So, let's run on to the town then, shall we? This game, 
you need to pay a little bit of attention to everywhere you're going because you're gonna miss things. Like I missed in the first video, I missed that rock. I, uh, I don't, I didn't spend that long on it, but I spent quite a while. At least trying to find it anyway. I don't want to spend the whole game running through this place either because it looks so beautiful, but I don't want to walk either because it's going to take forever. Oh well. If I wasn't recording, I'd probably be walking through this just soaking up the, uh, the awesome atmosphere and scenery that is this game. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Now... I hope that they, um, I read some people on the Steam forums, uh, they said it was about a good, depending on how fast you solve the puzzles and the murders, a good, uh, five to four hours, maybe six, so, I'm gonna be uploading these rather week, if I can speak, rather frequently, probably one every other day, um, and I'm sorry about my uploading schedule. I'm going to talk about that in a vlog um, tomorrow before Markiplier starts his stream. Uh, because I feel that's something that I need to address. Because uh, I have a bad habit of... Um, I'll start a series uh, and then I will uh, not... It takes me a week. Like the, the current Amnesia Mission Need for Bigs. I know no one watches it, but... Um, oh, well, we're in a side story, I think. What's this? Let's, re let's go ahead and read it. I invoke the boneless one, the, v the one who avoids the story of ships and he who is feared by the winds. Hear me, great minister Falcor. I wish... <sighs> oh. I need to breathe more is what I need to do. I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors in confusion to cloud their judgment. Seal the path with falsity and guile. And permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Algon tentagram, uh, tetragram. Vacon stimulations. I can't read any of that. Aldiorum. Iron. Yeah, I can't read it. Um... Uh, but he's speaking an incantation, and I'm in, which is the end. Um, and that, I would guess, would activate the house. Um, so what I need to do is, judging by this, is figure out what his actual room would be. Uh. Oh, so I'm stuck in there. So I can only go one and left. So I can go up, I can go left, right, let's go left. No, that wasn't right. Books. Ah, man, I bungled that one. Okay, so we're gonna have to start over. That's not what it was supposed to- nope. I could change the rooms. Uh... I got the first one right. Well, the first one was free, so now we need to figure it out. This could take a little while. Where would this go? This is on the left side of the house? That's not right. This one. This was indeed correct. Okay. So this is the kitchen. Well, that's pretty. Stop your squeaking. No one wants that. Now I need to figure out what this is. This isn't right either. Ah, oh, shit. Where am I now? Whoa! Oh, no. I gotta do it again. God damn it. I guess if you miss more than one, it... If you miss more than one, it, it screws it up. Okay, so this is right. I know what this one is. This is the kitchen. Um, this wasn't actually the living room. That's the attic. Oh, this was right. Okay. Hmm. 
Let's see what we can put up here. That won't be right. That wouldn't be right either because the stairs are over there. Okay, so. This and this. Let's go. Now this, I don't think it would be that. It looks like it's upstairs. It's either this or this. Ah shit, that wasn't right. Or was it right? That was right. I think. Maybe. Yeah, that was right. Why did flash red? Why would you flash red if that wasn't right? Alright, so we got three more? You're not right. So it's either that one or that one. Um... You're not right. Because that leads to there. I know what you are. You're the... You're this. Okay. So, I know how far the house is. It looks like it could have another hall... Well, no. It would be this one would have another hallway. Shit. No stairs. Okay, so it's gonna be connector room for this one. Ah. So this would be the No, the stairs are out there. It wasn't this. It'll be this. Okay. There we go. So we got all of this. Now, this is really interesting. Um, if you guys aren't good with puzzles, I am sorry. So this would either be, that's not right. That's not right. This. As long as I don't get scared, I'll be okay. So now there's only one really, one thing to do, and that would be that one. Ah, uh, shit, I should have paid attention to what I was doing. What? Oh, there's no door. Thank you. Oh, wow, you're creepy. Oh, I know, I see you there, but I'm just taking in this room. Okay. A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him, but the magician said no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house, but the magician knew that this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Endless rooms. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No, huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. Now that was neat. 
So this was... This looks like it might have been an old still. So all of his stories are tying into real life, but they're completely different from what the original story was. This looks like a um, homemade um, alcohol or liquor um, distillery. Yep, Moonshine. There you go, right there. NASA. Um, so these are all Ethan's stories, apparently, that he's... he's um, He's making up based on actual events from saving again. Well, I hope you say right. From things that happen around the town. Well, that's creepy. But the thing is, is I don't know if these are actual true sto stories or if they're all just fake. They're made up. So I don't know what's going to happen in this game, obviously. But this was Ethan's way of figuring out what happened. So apparently a f uh, there was a fire that happened in this area and burned out the inside of the house uh, because of the distillery. And it looks like an inn. So we didn't actually have to do that, but when you... Or maybe you do, I don't know. Um, there are people that said that you have to do certain things or you have to do everything, or you don't, um, I don't know. I plan on doing as much as I can, and hopefully I don't miss anything. So, I think this may be a good time to stop it, uh, a little good place in this cross section here, and continue on with the third episode. So, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the series, those of you who watch it, um, I'm really enjoying the game. It's really great. Um, it's going to take a while for me to beat this, I would believe. Uh, even, especially with the recording and how the, the pace I'm personally taking it is kind of slow. Uh, so sorry about that. But um, we're, I'm going to cut the video here, guys. So have fun. I'll see you later. And uh, goodbye. I can hear you moving out there. Oh, lovely pig out of the aardvark.